hormones. Hormones. I was assigned female at birth. I was assigned male at birth. I was 11 years old when I first started bleeding. I remember my body changing, growing. It scared me. I attempted to take my own life. I banished parts of myself and hid them away. My teenage years were lost years. I hated my body. But I don't want to tell you yet another story of a trans person who hated themselves and their body. I had never for one day in my life conformed to what society thinks men should be like. My bone structure was mostly feminine and my voice never dropped. Before I started taking testosterone, I was at a crossroads. Either go for it or not live at all. I was so desperate for hormones that I got them illegally. I just couldn't wait any longer. My body became an ever-changing landscape that hormones re-sculpted. There are so many things that hormones can change. Hair. Hair. Fat distribution. Fat distribution. Cravings. Cravings. Sex drive. Sex drive. Skin. Skin. Voice. Voice. These are the things that hormones cannot change. Body parts that have already developed. Body parts like my bones. Bones. My Adam's apple. My wrists. My voice. I would pose in the mirror and cover my breasts and imagine what I would look like without them. This is where surgery might become a necessity for certain people. I was obsessed with finding the visual representation of who I actually was. The effects of the hormones and my scars tell a story of my journey to finding myself. I needed genital surgery, but its construction is more about other people and less about me. Sensation and ability to orgasm secondary. The act of penetration, primary. It's not like it's an easy journey. You have to change parts of yourself, deal with the complications, the infections, the recovery, and you are left with something else that you learn to love. We have learned to look beyond that and realize it was a part of our journey of loving ourselves and our bodies. There are layers and layers of learning to love yourself. Eventually, you have to realize that all these things that make you trans, my Adam's apple, my top surgery scars, my big hands, my hair, my voice, are the things that make us beautiful. Are the things that make you who you are. And this is what I love about your body, about my body. We didn't go on this journey to hide once more. I'm different and my body may never conform. I'm trans and I love all the things that, that make me trans. trans.